Okay, let's talk to juror number 11. You had a question? Yes. If this love is so reciprocated, as you so eloquently stated earlier, um, why aren't we seeing any signs of Travis's obsession? Interesting point, Joey Jackson. Say this, I would never besmirch the character of Travis Alexander. He's the true victim here, and so I'm not going to opine about any obsession that he had. Justice certainly needs to be had. All I want to direct you to is the nature of how they interacted with each other, that they cared for each other, that they went on trips together, that he didn't ask the police to intervene, that she was stalking in any way, because it demonstrates his love. And as a result of that, I'd ask you to focus on that in your finding of not guilty on the issue of obsession. Okay, and juror number 12. Uh, they had such um, an exotic sex life, if you will. Do we know whether her entering through the doggy door was part of prior sex play, maybe? Monica. I think that that's a very good point because we've heard all about the sexual fantasies that they had and the role playing that they engaged in. So it's very, very possible. We haven't heard anything like that, but it's very possible that that was part of it because she even testified that she was able to come and go as she pleased and he wasn't upset with that and it would be at all hours of the night. So I think that's a very, very good point. Okay, so you've had a chance to talk both to the prosecution, the defense as well. But it looks like Vinnie Politan's got a smoking gun.